Chatters, chatties, welcome home for a Great American Chat, a podcast where we chat about great American media. I'm Chad Maurice, and I have a guest in the house today. She is a Great American Family fan. She is a movie-inspired recipe creator and a team member of Christmas is Not Canceled. Please welcome Adwa Ring. Adwa, how you doing? Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing okay. And I love your t-shirt, the Great American Spring Thank t-shirt you, you got Thank on there. You. Thank you. Thank you. I love your background representing my chocolate. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Then we're going to talk about love and sparks in your business and Christmas is not canceling everything. But before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about you. Now, what what part of the country are you in right now? Um, about an hour out of Chicago. So, uh, Illinois. yeah. Illinois. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What, what's what's the what's the spring like this spring? How's it been so far? You know, it's been remarkably lovely. <laughs> um, we had a very mild winter, like barely any snow, and we had so already so many 80 degrees. Oh, I just lost my light. Oh, well, I hope you can still see me okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can still see you. Uh, yeah, we had already a, a whole bunch of 80 degree days, which is weird, but I'll take it. <laughs> and uh, today's in the 60s, but... I'm not complaining. It's it's been really nice, and we have like 70s, 80s coming up the next week or two. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's yeah. cold here. I'm, I'm in New York. It's cold here. It was like in oh. the like 50 degrees here. Oh. Yeah, there's just so, been so lately everywhere. Uh huh. Yeah. So where are you from originally? Here. <laughs> well. Originally, oh, okay. My 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 parents are from Sicily, so I'm Sicilian. Right. But I have been born and raised in Illinois. <laughs> oh, okay. And you said yeah. it was, did you say it was near Chicago? Uh, it's like an hour away from Chicago. Hour not... south of Chicago? Don't ask me direction. Oh. I don't know <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm near Wisconsin. I'll tell you that. I'm, I'm like 40 minutes. Oh, from cool. Wisconsin. I was born yeah. in Wisconsin. Oh, well. Yeah. Sure. What, what, uh, what part? Sheboygan. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, that's that's probably a few hours for me. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm close to Lake Geneva. You know. That okay. Area. Okay. Well, I've been I've been to Illinois once. I was in I was uh, St. Louis. My brother was in the Air Force. He was stationed at a base in St. Louis. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. that's the that's the closest I've been to the Chicago yeah. area. That's okay. But... <laughs> You'll have to come back. <laughs> <again>. <laughs> so you went to high school right in that area. Yeah, I, everything. High school, college, elementary. <laughs> college. Oh, so you went to college right out of high school? Yeah, yeah. I went to Roosevelt University in Chicago. Um, got my teaching certificate. Well, first I got actually a bachelor's in um, English literature. And then I went back and got my master's in elementary education. So, yeah, okay. all, all Roosevelt. <laughs> English and elementary ed. So then did you teach then? I did. Yes. I was in education okay. for, for quite a while in different areas. You know, I was a teacher's aide. I was a homeschool teacher. I was all kinds of things. And then I was a first grade teacher for, for three years. Um, I loved it. I loved it. But then I lost my job because that's just what happens sometimes when, you know, they're just yeah. budget cuts and whatnot. And mm -hmm. You know, I just found a new path after that, and yeah. Yeah. then I became a mom, and things just happened, and here I am today. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many years ago was that when you were a first grade teacher? Oh, man, it was probably, I finished teaching like 11 years ago, and then um, it was okay. hard. At that time, it was really hard to get a teaching job. Now, it's, it's actually a a lot easier but at that time it was like almost impossible at least in illinois and uh i i after that i started working in schools in other capacities like teachers assistants and um mm -hmm. like that and then nine years ago i became pregnant with my daughter she's eight now but um mm -hmm. you know so, and then, no yeah. go ahead well, i was gonna <laughs> say 11 years ago so that was before all these school shootings started oh yeah yeah okay yeah, yeah there was good. nothing yeah. yeah 
crazy like that. I mean, we did have like lockdown. Um, they were called code red, like drills in case, God forbid, anything. Mm -hmm. um, but now, gosh, it's. it's I know. I didn't even think now, about it. Now it's scary to go to school. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. I know. So what about your husband? When did you meet him? I actually met him when I was student teaching. Um, the year before I became a, a first grade teacher, I was student teaching in first grade as well. And his sister uh, was the school psychologist at that school. And we became friends. And then, you know, we were talking about, you know, men stink and blah, blah, blah. There's, there's a bunch of losers out there. I was on <laughs> Match.com, like the whole, the whole thing. And she's like, you know, I got to introduce you to my brother. And I was like, no, I don't. And, I, and I'm so glad I did. Because <laughs> then I ended up marrying the guy. So it all worked Oh, out. wow. That's neat. Okay. Yeah. Now, did you, did you and he have a, like a movie cute meet? <laughs> a meet cute? <laughs> meet cute, um, yeah. I don't, I mean, not really. At, remember MySpace? We were, we had MySpace at the time and we would yeah. like message each other through MySpace for a little bit. And then we would talk on the phone for, you know, a week or so. Then our first date was actually a breakfast date on a Sunday morning. Um, we went for breakfast and then to a movie after that. And I was home by like 2, 2 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was cute. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. It was an awesome first date. <laughs> uh, so how now you mentioned kids. How many kids do you have? You have a two, right? Two. Yeah, I have an eight year old two. daughter and a three year old son. Eight and three. Oh, so you've got a young one. You got one three years old. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so your eight year old, she is in, what would that be like second grade? Yep. She's Something finishing like up second grade. Yeah. Next week's her last week. In second yeah. Grade. I was just when she gets out of school for the summer. Yep. Next, next week. Huh? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. You got, you got <laughs> plans to keep them busy. You got plans to keep them busy for over the summer. I mean, we, luckily we live in a really awesome neighborhood full of kids, so we're going to be playing a lot and kids will be in and out of my house and, um, you know, we have a splash pad in the back and stuff like that. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, she'll be in, in um, a little bit of summer school and maybe some gymnastics, you know, but <laughs> we're just going to have yeah. fun. Yeah, we're going to have fun. <laughs> All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up my background here. Ooh. Oh, and we're going to talk about, let me, let me see. Oh, <clears throat> move things around here. <laughs> didn't move, did it? There we go. It just there. Let's see. All right, let's talk about Love and Sparks. That's your chocolate bark business. Yeah. And people can check out the website, loveandsparks.com. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what, what it is. What inspired you to what inspired you to start this? Oh, well, it's it was kind of a long time coming. It it started way back when my daughter was a baby. And um I started with a blog, a food blog. And eventually that kind of rolled into a food blog about Hallmark Channel movies. Great American Family didn't mm -hmm. exist yet. So bear with me. Right, right. <laughs> um, yeah, right. And, you know, uh, I started creating recipes and based on, um, like, inspiration from the Hallmark Channel movies. And then I started watching, then Great American Family came out. And then mm -hmm. you know, a lot of my beloved actors from Hallmark were also doing Great American Family mm -hmm. movies. So then I started doing recipes based on um, on those movies as well. And then I had an idea and I was like, you know, this is not, I mean, this is so fun and fulfilling, but I also want to go like a step further and, and bring something to the public, you know? Uh, and so I thought I, I'd be cool to just make a business out of it, but what, I didn't really mm -hmm. know what, um, it took me a, a minute to, to figure out what exactly would be like the right product to, you know, have that most people enjoy. 
And then it hit me, oh, huh, everybody loves chocolate. And I was <laughs> I was watching, I, I, I don't exactly remember which movie, but I was watching a movie and it I was like, ooh, this would make a really good chocolate flavor. And then suddenly they all just started kind of like popping in my head, like, oh, and that would be a good chocolate fla flavor. And but then, you know, it just kind of started snowballing and I just had to write everything down. Um, and then, you know, it just one thing led to another. And um, I, I actually talked with Jen, Jen Lilly, before mm -hmm. um, I had launched anything, asking her opinion about like, what should I call this company? What do you think it should be? And um she was she was so helpful and so sweet helping me figure this out and then I I finally I came up with Love and Sparks chocolate bark because all of our our favorite rom-coms are just love and the mm. sparks that you see between the the main characters Oh okay um and that's where the name you know came from the love and the sparks and then chocolate bark rhymes with a spark so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's clever. The spark comes from the the sparks when two people meet. That's neat. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's it's, yeah. All, it's all about the rom coms and you know <laughs> their their relationships and love. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, how do you come up with the recipes for these for all this? It's kind of random, honestly. Um, I. Sometimes I just, things just pop in my head out of nowhere and I'm like, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, my neighbors all love me because I try things out and then they get to be my guinea pigs <laughs> and tell me, you know, <laughs> if these flavors work together or if they don't. <laughs> uh, luckily, I'd say 99% of the time they have worked. So um, my one flavor, bacon bourbon, that was... That one took like five tries to get right. <laughs> Bacon bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Uh-huh. I think you might like it. <laughs> now, does it taste like bacon or bourbon or both? It tastes like both. And, and it took me a while to get the right balance and the right texture. And I finally nailed it. And it, it took a lot of neighbors and a lot of taste buds to help me get there. But I got it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Now, Fun. when you're making this chocolate, are you making this chocolate from scratch? Are you like melting cocoa butter and adding cocoa and sugar or what? Yeah. I mean, I wish I could go that extra level. I'm not like, yeah. uh, you know, Belgium chocolatier or anything of mm -hmm. that right. caliber. Right. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, what I do is I get these like large, um, they're like blocks of solid chocolate and then... I melt them down and then I add mm -hmm. all of my own ingredients to them. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. So, um, there's a lot of sp spices. There's a lot of, you know, uh, extracts and um, other little things, you know, like cranberries and orange zest, lemon zest, mm -hmm. dried fruits, uh, mm -hmm. tons of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, let's talk about some of that stuff. Yeah. Here we go. Let's here I gotta make the yeah let's let's make this bigger so we can whoops so people that are watching on YouTube or where else can can see these images I'm gonna bring you over here there we go all right so <laughs> the one on the left there the hot chocolate chocolate bark yep. was inspired by the movie the hot cocoa Christmas right yes which was originally had, had a different name at the time um yeah. I can't remember what it was, but much ado about Christmas. About Christmas, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So that was inspired by that movie. Um, it has hot cocoa, it has actual hot cocoa mix in it. Um, it's like a like a Mexican hot cocoa. It has a little kick. And then I add a little extra kick in there with some um what do I add? <laughs> Is it cayenne? Do I add cayenne pepper? Now I can I'm totally blinking. How do I not know my own recipe? Um, and then I, All right. And well, that's cool. It has hot cocoa mix in it, it and it has marshmallows it, on top of it. I, now I love marshmallows. They're tiny, tiny freeze-dried marshmallows, like the kind you get in in like Lucky Charms. Like, oh, okay. They have a crunch to them, and they're very small. 
So they work so well with this. I have them mixed in and then I also have them sprinkled on top. Um, and there's just like a slight kick to it, you know, more of like an aftertaste little, little, mm -hmm. kick, but very manageable. <laughs> Neat. Yeah. And then the center one is your peppermint palace, it's called, right? And that was inspired by the winter palace. Yeah. So it's uh, obviously it's peppermint. So, yeah, it's just uh, loaded with just get shocked with peppermint flavor when you take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I named it Peppermint Palace because, you know, you think of peppermint and like cold, icy uh, mm -hmm. peppermint or sorry, winter palace was called mm -hmm. three and i love mm -hmm. <laughs> does it does that does that one taste like a candy cane ba yeah i mean basically i think it's <laughs> it's pretty pretty similar candy cane and chocolate. yeah <laughs> can't go wrong uh -huh. and and the chocolate actually looks a little red like looks like the color red in that picture yeah so i mix um i kind of like swirl in a red uh like a candy melt type of a chocolate it's, it's basically white chocolate dyed red uh, with food coloring. And that's what I stir in to give it like that candy cane-ish feel. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. And you have some Valentine's Day inspired chocolate. On the right there is Maple in Harmony. Yeah. I believe that one's called. That was inspired by the movie, the mo movie Harmony from the Heart. Yeah. Right? Yes, I I loved that movie. I love that was a really good movie. Yeah, all the yeah, that was a good movie. Oh my gosh, um, mm -hmm. yes. So and all the Valentine's decorations in that movie, I liked. Yes, they did such yeah. a good job with that. I mean, yeah. they do a good job with everything. It's, <laughs> it's great. I I met Jesse Metcalf, um, Pasadena Christmas Con, and he was like so awesome, such an awesome guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. and Jessica Lowndes. I didn't meet her, but I saw her at Christmas Con in um, uh, Jersey. New, New Jersey. Saw her little yeah. concert, and oh my God, that girl sings. Mm -hmm. She can sing. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Wow. I know. So that anyway, <laughs> the 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 bark there on the right. I'm I'm guessing that's sweetened with maple syrup. Uh, it's maple extract because there's certain things ah. that you can't. If you add, if I were to add actual maple syrup, it would kind of mess with the consistency and it wouldn't like harden like a chocolate bark is supposed to harden. So you ah. have to kind of play around with flavors and different things. So I had to use a maple extract for that one. Um, and there's also uh, graham cracker crumbs in there or, or like just actually not crumbs, just um, like little pieces of graham cracker so you can like get the crunch. Um, cause Ooh. there, there was this, these are all kind of based on scenes in the movies. Um, there mm -hmm. was a scene where Jessica Lowndes and Jesse Metcalf were, uh, at, uh, like his brother's chocolate shop or something. And they were mm -hmm. making these chocolate dipped, uh, s'mores kind of things. Uh, mm -hmm. so yeah. I, I just got the idea and yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, I remember them making s'mores in that movie. Yeah, yeah, and you can't you can't beat chocolate and graham cracker. That's a that's a good combination. Yeah, and then a little maple. I mean, it's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, what about do you ever um, have you ever made vegan bark for people who don't consume like dairy products? I, I'm not there yet. Uh, I'm not there yet. I okay. to get to that point. I, I would love to do vegan and gluten free for my mom. Mm -hmm. My mom can't do gluten. But, you know, just starting out, I kind of, mm -hmm. you know, playing around still with, with stuff. Yeah. Eventually, yeah. I, I do plan on getting there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. <clears throat> now, besides chocolate <clears throat> on your website, you also have recipes. I do. Yeah. So on the left there is the Jingle Bell Pepper Pizza, which I love that name. Thank you. Inspired by the movie Jingle Bell Princess because that movie has the infamous pizza scene in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've never had cold pizza before. I know. I know. <laughs> Trevor Donovan's like, what? You've never had cold pizza? Uh, yeah, I, that just blew my mind. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, that, that inspired uh, this pizza with red bell peppers and all kinds of yummy things. Yeah, I have all the recipes um, on the website as well. Mm -hmm. Now, do you prefer to cook or to bake? 
I must say, I, I love both, but I think baking is more like my, my thing. It's kind of always been more my thing. I love cooking too. Um, but I always seem to veer towards the baking when comes down to it. <laughs> but, you know, it also depends on the inspiration of what I'm watching. And if there's something, you know, savory that looks amazing, I mm -hmm. something similar to that, then I'll do it. But yeah, mm -hmm. I just got a sweet tooth, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put I'm going to put us back here. Hold on while we talk for a second here so what um how did you get into cooking and baking did you this is something you learned from your mom or did you teach yourself or what i mean i guess a little bit of both because uh, i grew up my my parents are awesome cooks and but they never let me do anything in the kitchen ever <laughs> <laughs> i saw them i i always kind of watched them cooking all my life you know growing up and um, once I, you know, got married and was on my own and everything, I was so excited to finally get to like, do what mom and dad did all this, all these years. I can <laughs> for myself and I love doing it. I love experimenting and, um, yeah, I've, I've always, I've always really enjoyed it. Uh, but as far as, you know, starting a blog and whatnot, um, when my, when my daughter Bianca was born or when she was, I don't know, like nine months old, uh, I was home all of a sudden stay at home mom and i didn't know what to do you know i felt kind of what am i what do i do with myself I, I need to do something that i enjoy you know um mm -hmm. and i was watching home and family on hallmark i'm sure you remember mm -hmm. wonderful oh family yeah at, uh, oh home yeah family. and uh, they had this home cook contest and as soon as i saw it i entered it immediately. It was the best home cook contest. I made a video of like a one pot pasta with all these vegetables and uh, tomatoes and spaghetti. And I put it all in one, you know, big pot and I submitted it. And my, my clip actually made it onto the show. I was so excited because oh. I thought, oh my gosh, <sighs> this is like the coolest thing ever i love all of them i still do and um i wanted mm -hmm. so badly to be on that show so bad uh and i that was yeah. my first attempt <laughs> um i i did not win that but that it's it's okay it's fine um after that it just kind of inspired me to keep going and uh you know then that's when mm -hmm. i had the idea to start a food blog and um it all just kept going from there and then i i had this this YouTube channel called Hungry for Hallmark. And it's mm -hmm. still it's still up. It's still on YouTube. I, I mean it's it's not the, the best videos of me because I'm <laughs> kind of amateur at the time. <laughs> but I still had so much fun doing it. And then, you know, once mm -hmm. I, I continued doing that, I kind of started dabbling with other things and you know, it's just evolving. That's just that's just what happens. Things just they evolve over time and you mm -hmm. get better, you get more experience and you figure out like, what is it that you really want to do? And I'm, I'm oh, yeah. this is where I'm at and this is what I love. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So that, that home and family contest, you didn't win the contest, but they had your video on the yeah, show? Yeah, yeah, they had my video and that, that was like everything. That was everything. And, you know, yeah. I just feel yeah that must have been really that must have been really exciting yeah, i was i was so excited like that was almost like enough even not winning like that was enough to make me feel like i won <laughs> <laughs> ever since then i've been addicted to you know debbie cameron maria mm -hmm. all of mm -hmm. all of my friends and i'm happy i see them on great american community mm -hmm. for the best yeah <laughs> yeah now let's talk about the crab rolls there that you made inspired by the movie Romantic Rewrite. Mm, yes. <laughs> Cuz that movie took place at the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, there was a yeah. food truck scene um yes. Where yeah. I can't remember the characters names but the the girl was like trying to hide from the guy behind the food truck and mm -hmm. a weird awkward moment and they were both mm -hmm. trying to order a crab roll <laughs> or a, or a lobster yeah. roll and um Mm -hmm. Yeah, that just kind of sparked it. And I, I love seafood. So I thought, you know, I didn't really have many seafood recipes on my site yet. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity 
to do that. And it's really mm-hmm. good. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna ask you if you enjoy seafood. I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah, it, it just makes yeah. me feel tropical. And <laughs> when you live mm-hmm. in the Midwest, you want to feel tropical as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you talked about how you come up with the recipes for the chocolate bark. How do you come up with the recipes for these main dishes that you create? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a similar process. Um, I, I kind of t- take them straight out of the movie itself, but then put my own twist to it. Because, you know, I'm not mm-hmm. one to plagiarize, you know what I mean? I'm not going to plagiarize a, a, a recipe or anything. But um, I'll get the <laughs> idea and then I'll... Yeah, just put my own spin on it. And it's pretty it's pretty fun to just come up with new, you know, little, like additions like this. I could take this out, but I can add this. And um, mm-hmm. it's really fun. And my family gets yeah. to eat and, you know. Oh, that was, that was going to be um, a question I was going to ask is, does your family love everything that you make? I mean, my husband does. But my kids, are the <laughs> he, he better, right? The, he better. Yeah. Better. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, he's pretty easy to please in the food department. So, uh, but no, I mean, I think they're just what I make maybe is more of like an adult palate situation. But also, my kids are so picky. So, oh. if it's a tr- if it's a dessert, I they they're cool with it. But something more mm-hmm. savory. Like the pizza or the the crab rolls, mm. no. <laughs> I wish I could get them to eat it. But well, they must like the chocolate bar. Oh though. God, yes. I yeah. can't even I can't yeah. even package it like around them because yeah. if they see it, especially my three year old, if he sees it, mommy, I want bark. I want bark. <laughs> nope, get away. <laughs> you cannot be here. <laughs> <laughs> So let's see. Here we see your peach tea infused scones that were inspired by the movie The English Estate, right? Yes, The English Estate. That was a fun one. Um, Yes, there was a scene where the the two main characters are having a spot of tea. um, And I myself like myself some peach tea. I don't really like a lot of different tea. I like the fruity teas. Um, I love peach tea. So I thought... It would be fun to make a scone to go with the tea and maybe infuse it with the peach tea itself and then put some peaches in it. So it just became a big thing. (laughs) Uh That's cool. Now, what exactly is a scone? Is it kind of like a biscuit or something? Yeah, I I would say, I yeah, I think it's a very biscuity. It's dense. It's it's dense and full of butter. Um, Ah, But it's good. It's, It's really good just like to dip in tea or coffee. Hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, okay. And it's it's sweeter than a biscuit, right? It's it got is. But sugar in it. Yeah. Not too yeah. much sweeter, but a little bit, yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> now have you ever have you ever been to England? No, I have not. My parents have, but I haven't. But I do <laughs> love everything English related. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love the accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the accent, yeah. <laughs> Now we have to, here we go. We have to talk about Christmas is not canceled. There you and I, we met at Christmas Con this past December in New Jersey. Yep. And there you are with Jen at Christmas Con. There she is. Now tell me, how did you ever meet Jen and get hooked up with her? Okay, so this is, this is fun. So two years ago, um, July, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was right before her Camp Christmas in July, her very first one. I mm-hmm. had um, caught wind of it on Instagram and I thought, oh my gosh, this sounds so fun. I get to play games. I get to see Jen Lily. I get to like do fun stuff with with my favorite rom-com actors. Yeah, sign me up. So <laughs> I, I actually started out as a camper. Um, it's like, it's a mm-hmm. virtual, which I'll get into it. It's a virtual um, camp all done right. online, which um, she and her her business partner and bestie, Ale, they both started um, during COVID. And right. so I didn't catch wind of it till their, their camp time. And um, I loved it so much. And I messaged her on Instagram and I said, 
Hey Jen, uh, I really love this whole idea of, of camp Christmas in July and what you're doing, you know, for the kids. Um, they were raising money to give backpacks full of supplies to kids in foster care. And I mean, that, that was just enough to make me want to do it regardless of, mm. you know, being able to see celebrities and whatnot. Cause kids have always mm -hmm. been very, you know, near and dear to my heart. So, um, you know, when I, I messaged her and I said, I would love to do a recipe uh, special for Camp Christmas in July, for Christmas is not canceled. Would this be okay with you? And would you mind doing a little cameo on my video? And, you know, just talk a little bit about the campaign. And she was all over it. Oh my gosh, I would love that. She was so sweet. She didn't know me from Adam and she just like <laughs> jumped in. She was the, she is the best. <laughs> and um, mm -hmm. so what I did was I made a recipe called Christmas in July s'mores pie. It's very decadent. Oh, okay. Basically with all the s'mores ingredients and then some very like rich <laughs> and moussey and chocolatey and minty and everything <laughs> everything's in it um and then she showed up in my recipe video on youtube and talked about the campaign and after that i mean i was just hooked to all of it i loved i loved being in the camp i loved the whole idea of what it you know what it was for and how it helped kids um you know everything about it was just so enticing so um you know once she became pregnant with her baby Jackie who just turned one <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah. um you know she just looked I, I felt for her because she looked like she was really just exhausted on you know her Instagram posts and stuff she was getting ready to do things for camp Christmas and um I mm -hmm. wanted to help her so I just really wanted to help her so much so I messaged her again I said hey if you're really tired and feeling super pregnant let me help you. I would, I would love to help you with whatever you want. Um, and she actually, eventually she took me up on it and she, she sent me a, a message and she says, I have a, a mission for you. And I was just like, what? what is it? What's my mission? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, she asked me if I would like to be one of her four team leaders for her Christmas is not canceled campaigns. And I, I didn't even think about it for a second. I just said, yes, mm. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I mm. will do this as long as you want me to forever. <laughs> and then, yeah, and here we are. <laughs> wow. Now explain exactly what you do for the organization. Okay. So, um, for, she has two, two fundraisers uh, a year or two campaigns a year um, in the summer in July, it's camp Christmas. And then in the fall, it's Christmas university. And mm -hmm. for both campaigns, we split up into four teams. Um, I am the team leader for the jingle jangles team. And then there's three other teams, the Grinch gang, the tinsel troop and the mm -hmm. rebels. And they're all awesome. We're all friends and we all love each other. It's not, you know, we're not like against, we're not like playing against each other. We're just all playing yeah. together, but we're teams. And the whole idea is to get our teams, um, you know, like really involved. And, and basically the more, the more involved they are, the more, um, you know, money is going towards our goal. So, for example, um, for the Camp Christmas in July, that's going to be coming up. We are our goal is to raise twenty five hundred backpacks this year, full of school supplies for children in foster care. And the um, where was I? I'm backtracking a little bit. <laughs> so, my goal before we before we get to that uh, twenty five hundred backpacks. As a team leader, my goal is to get my team to participate, to, um, you know, maybe buy some merchandise, like, you know, T-shirts. There's all kinds of fun merchandise that we have. Um, mm -hmm. The Just being a part of the camp itself, the money you pay to be a part of the camp goes straight to the kids, the backpacks, the supplies, 
um, spreading the word, you know, I'm just like their cheerleader, you know, I'm trying to pump them up and, you know, just get them, get them excited. And, uh, there is a winning team at the end, basically whoever has the most points because, you know, there's, there's a point system involved and, um, games, there's just all kinds of fun stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my mm -hmm. team jingle jangles, we actually won, um, the Christmas university, my team got the most points just from, you know, like challenges and bonus points and, and stuff like that. So they were awesome. Yeah. Every team, everyone did so awesome. We raised so many gifts um, for kids and foster care for Christmas. It was, it was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I remember for camp Christmas in the summer, they do zooms where you can do zooms with the, the actors and the play games with them. They have a, they have a, like a Hollywood squares game yeah. that you can play with people. Right. Yeah. Well, see every, every, um, you know, or camp or university, they, they switch things out for each one. Um, so yeah, like last summer, last camp Christmas in July, it was kind of like a sixties theme. So they did kind of a Brady bunch squares type of deal. Um, <laughs> yeah. a lot of like retro, you know, kind of a vibe. Uh, they had camp like virtual camp nights with mm -hmm. stars. Um, mm -hmm. remember we were serenaded by, Paul Green and Wes Brown <laughs> by like a virtual campfire. <laughs> but man, was it fun. And, you know, you do mm -hmm. trivia games, you do classes. Um, I actually taught a baking class, uh, how to make s'mores bark. Um, all kinds of really fun stuff. And the prizes are insane. They're insane. I mean, mm -hmm. My um, one of my jingle jangle girls, she um, she had won a trip to Sedona to have breakfast with Cindy Busby, which yeah, ended up that's right. uh, Paul Green because Cindy had to had to film at the time. So uh, she got to go to Sedona, have breakfast or dinner with Paul Green and his family. <laughs> and I mean, that's just one of many amazing prizes that they have uh, it's it just it'll blow your mind and i'm i'm sure the the prizes for this year's camp christmas is going to be awesome too yeah <laughs> i don't even know all the prizes yet but i know they're going to be fabulous because they always are mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that's great now also at conventions you work at the christmas is not canceled booth right yeah yeah so yeah. i help to either you know, I'll sell the merchandise that we have. And again, the money from that goes straight to the kids in foster care, whether mm -hmm. it's towards backpacks or towards Christmas gifts, depending on what time of year it is. Um, this June, coming up in three weeks, I believe, uh, I'll be in Christmas Con Kansas at the mm -hmm. Christmas Not Canceled booth. And um, I'll be there with Ale, who is... Um, also, you know, the other half of Jen <laughs> and mm. Andy, she is the Rudolph Rebels team leader. And we're going to be there um, registering people to come to Camp Christmas in July. So it's actually really special for people who are, are at Christmas Con because general registration won't open till June 15th. Um, but if you're at the con and you want to sign up, which I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, <laughs> you can do it at our booth and perhaps get a little something, something as a thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so nice. We're excited to do that. Definitely excited. And just, you know, educate people. Um, mm -hmm. some, a lot of people may not know what Christmas is not canceled is. So we'll be there to educate people on, on what it's all about, what, what we do. Um, and how being a part of this super fun virtual camp with all your favorite celebrities is a win-win for everybody because you're giving to children in need at the same time. And like, how could mm -hmm. you, how could you say no? It's yeah, the no yeah. brain. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's coming up June 9th, 10th and 11th, right? In Kansas. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 I'm pumped. I'm very excited. Now also, let me make this. Let me let me let me make this this picture bigger. 
because I want people to see this stuff because this oh. looks good. So also <laughs> in Christmas is not canceled. You also had a, a bake along, right? For that? Yes. That? Yeah. We have a bake along. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. So talk fun. a little bit about this bake along. Yes. Um, the bake along we did, uh, well, both, both years for Christmas university, uh, basically every week, um, that a new great American family Christmas movie comes out, there's a recipe to go along with it. So if you make the recipe that goes with the movie that premieres that weekend, then you post it, um, you know, post it and there's certain hashtags you put on there. Um, and you can receive extra bonus points for you, yourself and your team on Christmas is not canceled. And uh, that'll go towards, you know, your entries to win prizes and all that fun stuff. And you get to have fun, you know, in the process and, and make mm -hmm. things big out. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, now, talking about good stuff to make, hot chocolate fluff dip you made that was inspired by love at the Christmas contest. Yeah. So the, wow. let, me, let me preface like all of these recipes. These are not my recipes. Um, those are given to us by, you know, a variety of uh, food bloggers or, mm -hmm. bakers, you know, right. um, and they're posted then on the Christmas is not canceled website. And then everybody involved can, you know, join along. I got you. As they I wish. got you. Okay. So, um, yeah, these are not my recipes, but I make, I try to follow along as, as much as I can. <laughs> I so got I you. I got you. I got you. Well, that, that, that hot chocolate fluff looks good. Cause I grew up on peanut butter and fluff sandwiches. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah. oh that sounds so good. <laughs> yeah. And then you made, uh, or someone made Mary Mocha cupcakes in the center yeah. there. I, well, I did make those actual photos I made. Oh, you did make all that not, stuff. Okay. They're not my cre like my recipes. Right. Okay. I got you. I made all of those. Sorry. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Those, I think something it, it's filled with something. There's some kind of moose inside and I can't remember what, <laughs> what it is. Oh, okay. Nice. But super yummy. The last one I think was like a gingerbread. Gingerbread tartlet. Yes. Oh man. Yes, I picked out on that one. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I love gingerbread. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, oh. Now, a tartlet is just a small tart, but what exactly is a tart? Is that like a big pie? Is that like a pie or something? What is that? Kind of. Uh, kind of. The, the tart is more of just like the, the crust, I guess. Uh, I don't know. No, I, I don't know the specifics. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know if I've ever, I don't know if I've ever had a tart. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm sure usually I probably did at some point. Tarts, tarts are usually like flat. Yeah. They're fruity, right? I, with, I usually. With, yeah. Like sliced yeah. fruit and like a glaze. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now something else that you did that must have been really fun. Oh. You were able to go to the Chicago Thanksgiving Day Parade yes. with Jen and Jesse Hutch, right? Yes. Oh, I mean, got, how fun was that? Got all the stuff here. Um, the best. The best. It was so awesome. So, yeah, that actually, I don't even, I can't believe how this came to be. Um, last summer for Camp Christmas in July, I thought it'd be fun to go to one of, we have an amusement park nearby called Santa's Village. And it's, it's a Christmas themed amusement park and it's open all summer and it's so fun. And Santa lives there. Um, he has a little cabin. So I thought it'd be a fun idea to go do like a little PSA with Santa, do a little skit with him um, for Christmas is not canceled. And it was so much fun. We had the best time. Uh, and then it kind of like from there, it, it turned out that he also appears in the Chicago Thanksgiving Parade every year. He's like the man. He's the Santa. He's the Santa. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I don't, one thing led to another and somehow people got talking behind the scenes and I got a phone call from the man who runs the Chicago Thanksgiving Parade 
and said, you know, hey, we'd love to help out, you know, with Christmas is not canceled in some capacity, you know, is there anything we can, we can do? And um, before I knew it, Jen Lilly and Jesse Hutch were the hosts. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I was invited to, to come along. So I was like, mind blown when that happened. Well, well, now who invited you? Was it Jen or was it the guy who's r- running the parade? You know what? I, I, I feel like they all invited me. I, I got a text from Jen and Ale and also got an email from the the parade guy kind of all oh, okay. at the same time. And um, they were all telling me like, you're being invited to the Chicago Thanksgiving parade, um, you know, behind the scenes and blah, 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 blah. And I said, oh my God, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I said, whatever you want me to do, I am there. Even though I host Thanksgiving at my house for about 30 people every year, I didn't care. Uh, I was still down to do it. <laughs> so Yeah, that must have been a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Oh my gosh. I, pre- I literally and, prepared for my Thanksgiving feast the whole week. I like did everything. I set the tables. I made all the food. Everything was ready to go. So I didn't have to do anything when I came home from the parade. Um, and it was just, it was the best time. It was so much fun. And I, I got to just hang out with Jen and Jesse, you know, right by the stage where they were commentating on the parade and mm-hmm. did a little behind the scenes stuff, you know, shooting from my phone and posted it on Instagram and um I mean, it was just the best time ever. I want to do a million more things like that with them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I saw you were like doing all the, you were like doing all the social media posts about, right? You were film, filming yeah. all that stuff, right? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. It's just, they're the, they're the best people. I can't believe all the friends that I've made through, you know, just being a part of all of this. Mm-hmm. It's just been the best. It mm-hmm. <laughs> makes me want to cry. <laughs> you know, well, yeah, well, next, next, we got to get Christmas is not canceled in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Oh, <laughs> that would be really good. Yeah, I know. I, I think they should have their own float, you know? Oh, of course they should. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, they definitely <laughs> need to. The whole world needs to know about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's finish up here with some fun questions here. Okie doke. What is what are some of your favorite foods to eat? Cinnamon rolls are my top. Ooh. <laughs> Love a good cinnamon roll with lots of icing. Oh um, yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, I love calamari, pasta with calamari. My dad makes a really good, especially Christmas Eve, he makes a really good one. Um <laughs> I mean, I love, I love a lot of food, but I've, anything with cinnamon, really, uh, any kind of pasta. I love gnocchi, uh, stuffed chicken. <laughs> yeah. But I'd say I'm probably definitely a, I'm a sweets girl. Give me a cookie, and I'm. All right. <laughs> what, what are your favorite foods to cook or bake? Well, I love I love cake, so. Any kind of cake. I always make my kids birthday cakes um, for their birthdays. And I try to make them elaborate with fondant and, you know, make them look really cute and pretty yeah. and <laughs> animated. Um, they don't look great, but they taste good and they're fun. So. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they look great. I'm sure they look great. They look good. Uh, but, you yeah. know. But, yeah, th- that's probably my favorite thing to make is my kids' birthday cakes. <laughs> okay. What yeah. are, let's talk about Great American Family here. What are some of your favorite Great American Family Christmas movies? Oh, okay. Can you, well, of, can you think of some off the top of your head? Yeah. Okay. Of course, Royally Wrapped for Christmas. Oh, yeah, my- yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Love that one. Love her wardrobe in that. Love her beautiful red gown. Yeah, um, yeah. She did have nice clothes in that one. Yeah. 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 Um. What was the one? Okay, Jill, Jill Wagner, and Cameron Matheson. Mm. The, the Christmas Wish one. Yeah. Christmas Wish, where yes. she inherits a farm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I love yeah. that. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I'm totally blanking on this, but the one with Jessica Lowndes and and she was a she's singing. She wants to be a Broadway Paul Green. Oh, the one with <laughs> Paul Green. Yeah. 
And they sang they sang their song at a, a Christmas con. Yeah, that's right. I forget the name of that movie, but yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Gladys yeah. Knight was in that Gladys one, right? Knight, that was one it was, yeah. Glad, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. glad it's Christmas. That's what it's called. I'm glad it's Oh, Christmas. okay, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, gosh, I mean, I love all of them. Joy for Christmas with Cindy. I love Cindy. Cindy Busby. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know Cindy. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. pals. She was my lip-syncing mm -hmm. pal. Uh, That's right. Lip-syncing video last uh, summer, but <laughs> it was great. It was epic. I, I, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't how about, how about non How about non-Christmas movies? Non Christmas. Um, let's see here. You know, I kind I did like Love in Aruba. It it had a little cheesiness mm -hmm. to it, mm -hmm. but I think I just because I love Aruba so much, I love tropical <laughs> thing. If it's set in a tropical setting, I just automatically love it. <laughs> <laughs> what about? Talk about some of your favorite actors that you like that you've seen paired up together or that you would like to see paired up together. Well, actually, it's funny you say that because uh, yesterday Danica McKellar posted something that um, where she's filming currently, uh, Trevor Donovan is filming his own mm -hmm. movie like uh, yeah. next door. So, mm -hmm. you know, seeing them together just kind of like saying hi to us totally made me want a movie with them together. I never, mm -hmm. I never thought about them together until I saw that. And I said, oh, that actually would be a really yeah. cute duo. Let's do yeah, that. When she, when she said she was doing a dancing movie, I thought maybe her co-star would be Trevor Donovan since he was on Dancing with the Stars. That's, yeah. That was, but apparently, I guess not from what they said. But yeah, that was one of my guesses. <laughs> I, I That would be awesome. I, I, I have a feeling, though, that they're going to do something together at some point. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, you mentioned Aruba and you like, uh, tropical oh. places, summer's coming. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, the Emma movie I really liked too. Um, the what one? Happily Ever Emma. I liked that one a lot too. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that one, that one had a fun ensemble cast. Yeah. Yeah, and I wrote. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this. I I um, Jen and Ale have a, a digital Christmas um, magazine called Christmas Inc. Magazine. Uh, they've had two issues released so far. They will have a third issue released in June. And I write the movie reviews and the trivia for that magazine. So I actually wrote oh, about okay. uh, Happily Ever Emma in the, the upcoming uh, issue that will be coming out. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> now, where can people find that that magazine? You said it's digital, so um, it's online. It's Yes, it's uh, as far as I know currently, it's only available uh, at christmasisnotcanceled.com. Okay. Uh, I don't know where else to find it as of yet, but Okay. All right. That's, All that's right. where I know. <laughs> and you All don't right. have to be a member, you know, to to like read it. You can anybody can go on the website and and see the magazine. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. I'm glad you mentioned it. Yeah. All right, let's talk let's talk summer vacations. You got one planned for the summer? Well, for right now, Christmas con in Kansas. <laughs> That's my mommy vacation. <laughs> That's your vacation. <laughs> I mean, but you know, I, I, I don't know if this year, I, I don't know yet. Um, I'm a huge, huge, Dis we're a big Disney family. So I always hope to go to Disney World at some point. <laughs> but um, I don't know if that's in the cards for this year. Uh, I don't know. Otherwise, maybe a staycation, you know, a, a water park nearby or something but we'll see <laughs> okay okay what's yeah. what's your favorite vacation you've ever been on oh that is a toughie it's probably a tie because disney is always like up there um disney with my whole family when my dad turned 80 we did like a big huge family vacation that was really really fun um but probably also my honeymoon um, we took a, we went to San Juan, Puerto Rico, and then we took a seven day cruise, um, in the Caribbean. And that was magical. Oh, so wow. probably one of my favorites for sure. And I, I'm so down to do another cruise soon, possibly a Disney cruise. So I can combine the best of both worlds. Ah. You know? <laughs> so when you cruise the Caribbean, you go to St. Thomas? I did. Yes. Okay. There, I've, been to, I've been to St. Thomas. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. There were actual chickens crossing the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, you do see some wild stuff. Yeah, it was crazy, but so fun and so pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, where is a place that you would like to go that you've never been to? Never been. Always wanted to do Greece. Um, oh. Actually, I'm like more of a Mediterranean cruise or tour. Visit my family in Sicily and then... Mm -hmm. I just dropped my phone and then migrate over to other parts of, of Europe, like Greece, like I said, um, I don't know where else, but anywhere where I can have olive oil and, and lots of good food. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Adwan has been fun getting to know you. Drop, drop you. your uh, social media handle so people can find you and follow you. And All right. I'll do it right now. Okay. Oh, is that coming up? Okay. It is okay. Well, um, you can just say them. Just say them so people. Oh, okay. I'm I'm typing it in the chat too. Is everybody going to see that, or is it just you? <laughs> no, not right now. Not right now. Oh, okay. Never mind. Well, okay, yeah, so, I'm, I'm the only. Yeah, I'm the only one that can uh, see it right sorry. now. But go ahead. So Instagram is uh, Mrs. Dot Hungry for Hallmark Dot G. No, no, no. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> dot, dot hungry for right. Hallmark underscore G A F. Right. A great American family. Don't confuse it with my old account I that know. was taken by someone horrible. Um, yeah. That was underscore G A C. Don't go to that one. I am now underscore yeah. G A F at the end. Yeah, what, some scammer took your original account, yeah. took it over? Yeah, and it's still up. It's still floating around out there. And I, I don't know. know. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't get it deleted. Yeah. No, it's so frustrating. But yeah. you know, what, what about do do? <laughs> Yeah, what about on Twitter, TikTok? You on any of those things? I'm not. I am on Facebook. Um Oh, Facebook. Okay. Yes. Uh, I am just I'm just Mrs. Hungry. Mrs. Dot Hungry on Facebook. Okay. But all right. Yeah. I, I'd say I'm mostly on, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then again, the website for your business? Loveandsparks.com. And you can find my chocolate bark store there as well as recipes um, and another section under the recipe section. All inspired by Hallmark and GA Great American Family movies. <laughs> Great. Adwa, thank you so much for, for stopping by. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. This has been so fun. <laughs> thank you for letting me ramble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't ramble. It, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, and it was good seeing you again. I know we met at Christmas Con. It was good seeing you again. You too. Hopefully, I'll see you again at the next con in uh, Jersey, the next Jersey one. Yeah, I have tickets. You you will be there? I plan on being there at, okay. at the this is not canceled booth. Um, okay. As long as they'll have me, I would. All right. <laughs> great. Well, thank uh, you again. And thank you, chatters and gratefuls for being here. And until next time, you keep the faith, keep smiling, keep your friends close, and keep your great American family closer. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>